Well, hey guys, it must be Tuesday because <laughs> here we are. Here we are. <laughs> awesome. This is going to be so much fun. We're at, we're going to give some art away today. Um, we're about to to head out to the to to the Caribbean or Caribbean. I don't know. Um, maybe we take a poll and figure out how to say that. <laughs> um, I know it has two B's in it, so that's different. But maybe it depends on how many pina coladas you've had. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so we're so we're we're gonna do that. So so we're gonna give away the art. We're gonna do that. Um, um I want to show you guys. I, I want to show you a, a mock up that uh, I've been working on for um, um, a mural that we're that we're hoping to do. Oh oh, and and packing. I want to show you because um because we're we're going to to the Caribbean. And and we're gonna do some live pa painting there. I'm gonna I'm not live painting. Well, I'm gonna be alive. And I'm gonna be painting there, but <laughs> we're not gonna have internet access really. So so, um, but I'm gonna be doing painting there. Like I'm really ex excited about this. I've wanted to go to the Caribbean my entire life and paint, and and now it's actually gonna happen. So so I want to show you how I'm packing for it, and um, because it's a really kind of light way to pack. You can literally put this. You could go kayaking with this sort of setup. You do whatever you want. Um, but you know what? Maybe we should just get started. <laughs> so welcome to the show. Yeah. I got so excited. I, I forgot to hit start <laughs> on that. <laughs> I just kept on talking. But yeah, but we're, but we're, we're, we're going to give away some art a little, a little bit. We're going to play a, a trivia game. And um, so somebody's going to get some free art. Um, but it's been a crazy day. Um, a a ABC was out here this morning, um, and they, they filmed a story that I think is going to come out on a Friday or Monday. He wasn't sure, but, um, but so much thanks to Sean though. He was so nice to have in here and, uh, the studio was a wreck, um, <laughs> stuff everywhere. The whole house is a wreck. So what's the difference? <laughs> but it may, you, I don't know. We've been doing so many workshops and stuff. There's just stuff all over the studio, but so it's been. A little nutty, but but it was fun. It was really nice to have them over. So, um, and we'll you know we'll we'll try to put out when that's actually coming out because that's fun. But what have what have you been? Oh, you've been getting ready for the trip. Oh, there's a thing about the trip. You know, you know, I, I travel with Eagle, my my guide dog, um, and we're. It doesn't look like she's going to be able to go on the trip. It's like it's it's the craziest thing because like the 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 cruise ship, Jackie being Jackie and being amazing is keeps calling them and keeps getting all the stuff. We have the health certificates from, from all the countries it's that we'll be going to the wall. Nuts. We, we have every bit of thing that we kind of need, except one piece of paper where a place I wasn't really going to go to, but the ship might need it. And um, half, half the people that she's talked to says, Oh, you don't need it. It's fine. You can get on the boat. The other half though, say they won't let you on the boat without it with with Eagle. So, you know, it's like, you know, we don't want to fly to Miami and then, not be able to get on the boat. That's, that's ridiculous. And they can't tell us like they, you know, they, they, like there's not like, it's just, anyway, it's frustrating. Um, I, but it's okay. If I can't take Eagle, I've got my cane. I've got my guide boy, Jack, <laughs> <laughs> and, and ja Jackie, you know, and I mean the first eight years that we were together, like um, I had a cane and, um, or seven years we were together or whatever, six, something many years. Yeah. We, we, it was cane travel and then it's been guide dogs ever since. But so that's not really the big deal. I was really looking forward to getting on the ship though. And, and maybe doing some videos showing about how, how Eagle could find the bathrooms and, 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 d and did different things and the air travel and all that. If it doesn't work out this time, you know, maybe we can do it some other time, but. Yeah. It's, what's frustrating about it is that it's not abnormal for guide dogs to be on these cruises. So yeah. they, and you have a, Clearly, they know what they're looking for because they're not going to let us on the boat if we don't have a certain thing. So just give us the list of what we need because every time I talk to somebody, they're just like, well, you know, we don't, that's, to, you know, depending on the agricultural, it, it, you know, department of that country. And it's like, then how do you know? <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you're, if you're clearing us to get on the boat, how do you, anyway, it's well, um, Wheels has joined us and says, hey, John and Jackie, hope you're well. Have a safe trip. Thank hey, you. Wheels. I, I was just talk, talking about you the other day. We, we were. We were, we were over at, 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 at Jackie's mom's house, Mayor Maryland, and um, we, we were talking about you. So it's so, it's so, so good to hear you. But, yeah, it's been – so it's been nutty. We're kind of getting ready yeah. for that. and It's been uh, hectic. It's been, yeah, it's been hectic, but – 
but good. And, um, and I'm excited. I, I've always wanted to go there. Never have. And, um, so, so this will be really cool. Um, maybe we should wait a little bit to, to, to play the game and give away the art. Okay. Yeah. I was thinking, were you saying somebody doing it quick? Oh no, I meant like <laughs> Oh oh do oh do I meant do answering the, the questions quick. Okay, oh, so guys okay, okay, if gotcha, you tuned gotcha. in last week and and you were part of the us giving away art to the question the, the issue with the quiz is that I don't know the answers hundred percent. Like I think I do, but I don't. And so if I have to go back <laughs> through the comments and write down who got them right and it, it's chaos. Okay, it's just chaos. So I was telling John earlier, I was like, let's go through it a little quicker so that there's not a million comments for me to go through and everybody's waiting and stuff. So <laughs> anyway, no, we're good. We can, we can do whatever we want. You, you should show everybody what you're working on this. Uh, yeah. And talk, talk about this mural. Yeah. And just, and just to recap for anybody that's just joining us, we are, we are going to give away some art. I know we've been saying for two weeks, Oh, we're going to do it tonight. Tonight we're actually going to give away some art and, um, and I want to show you how I'm packing. It's such a light way to pack, but yeah, I've been working on um, this, this mock-up for and gosh, and I've done so many drawings for it. I, I've got drawings and drawings of, of, of sketches that I've done for this. Um, the wall is like 30 feet long and it's going to be about nine feet tall for the painting. The wall's taller, but the painting is going to be about nine feet tall or ish. So, um, so I have a mock-up right now. It's just in black and white, but look at it now. <laughs> so oh, yeah. it's... You, you can't really see any, any detail now. I'm going to, I'm going to get the easel closer. But it's so far away. But let me tell you. Let me. Let me. Let me try to. Oh, I should say this is for a children's hospital. So what? What? What you're looking at right now? It's it's really black and white, but it's going to be beautiful. Just so many colors and stuff. So this right here is a tree. I'm, I'm trying not to hit the camera because I'm going to make everybody wiggly. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> wobble on everybody. So so here's a tree, um, and. Okay, to the left of the tree is more of a nighttime kind of scene. It's it's sort of a cross between being nighttime and it being, you know, where where when when you're under the cover of the boughs and the limbs, it just gets a little darker under there. So when twilight comes and the fireflies start to come out, it's just a magical sort sort of feeling, you know. And you know, it's like it's like if fairies lived, that's 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 when they'd come out and they'd and they'd cavort and spring about. <laughs> So over here to the left is going to be like purples and blues, and there's like this lighter strip coming through. And then I don't know if you can see, but there's about 20 butterflies. You probably can't see it now. I'll get a little closer. But there's lots and lots of butterflies coming up, and there's more over here. But there's one big butterfly. And the idea there is for an Instagrammable moment. And I know this is done a lot where, you know, where you'll have the wings where um, a kid or a person can stand in front of it. And it looks like the wings are coming out of you, um, like, 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 like you have wings. But this is a children's hospital, and I really think the the kids would really just enjoy that. It never gets old. Yeah, children. it never gets old. And these <laughs> kids haven't been around that long, so you know it's new to them. <laughs> so we'll trick them. <laughs> no, but but I think it'll be beautiful because it's not just a regular butterfly. It's crazy blues and violets and purples and stuff. Just something to really take the kids' mind off everything. And then all around them are, are, is going to be like little um, fire fireflies. All these little glows, little, little little pops of light, and and then and then beautiful butterflies that are just crazy color. You know, not 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 your normal viceroy or, or, or monarch sort of butterfly, but um, which are beautiful. I love monarch, but um, but just all kinds of color. And then to the right of the tree, um, it's going to start getting lighter and lighter, and and then all 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 through here, what I'm feeling right now. It's fields of blue bonnets and 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 and, 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 and paint brushes. So. Um, Indian paintbrushes, not um, like actual paintbrushes, but you know the flower, the paintbrush. Yeah, just make sure, okay? Because right, right, right. it is painting; it's art. You can do whatever you want. So it could be a bunch of paintbrushes. I mean, paintbrushes. it could be that. Could be cool. Yeah, yeah, but it's just bright, bright colors. So it's all this beautiful fields of, of that, and then the sky, and then there's trees back here, and then there's a barn, and what you probably can't see here too. And I'm, I'm going to try to move this closer. So I apologize, everybody. Um, take take your dram of me now. <laughs> So can you see this? It's, uh, it's cut off at the bottom. It, okay, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to break it down. Did that did that do it? Should yeah. we go closer? Yeah. Or is that good? That's good. Okay. I mean, that's right. It's down here is a really, really loose sketch. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna trace it so maybe you can see it. I don't know how well it's coming on the camera, but this is a little colt. It's a pony. Um, actually, let me show you. Well, one second. Let me show you. 
Well, let me say Christy has joined us, says hi, guys. Barbara's with us, says hey and howdy. Uh, Mike has joined us, says hi. And Owen says, hey, what's up? And um, sorry to ask, but did you ever get to, to my digital portrait that I did of you? Which I will say, I saw it. And I have yet to describe it to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I actually... haven't had to describe. Um, maybe but I can... liked it. I thought it was really good. Maybe I thought you it can was... describe it to me in a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I have to. Pull it I, up. I thought about it the other day. Everything has been so so nutty around here. And yeah. We've um we're getting ready for this trip and um and we've been trying to get stuff out of the studio and um <laughs> we we had a film crew here this morning from ABC that was here. It seems like every day it's something. Yeah. So it's just, it's been it's been good, but it's been nutty, but. But yeah, I was I was thinking about that, um, like a, a couple days ago. I thought I haven't I haven't um, I haven't had that described to me yet. So I I saw it though, Owen. I really liked it. It, it definitely looks just like you. You could you. Oh, could is take, it a self portrait? Yeah, it was a it was a portrait of, of, of you. Owen? No, of you. Oh, oh, me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it definitely looks it definitely looks like you. It's it yeah. It was really good. Well, I liked how it. awesome! Oh, kind of captured your your uh, artsy personality, I'd say. Well, let's, well, let's definitely, um, yeah. Do you, do you think you could find it or we could, I, I don't, I don't, I'm afraid I'd kick our, us off. I like it. Or, or do you remember it well enough to describe it? I don't know. Or maybe, I'd... or maybe you could describe it to me and, and uh, I'm sorry, next, next time that yeah, I Yeah. Cause I don't, okay, I don't, yeah. I, I, I don't want to get it wrong and I don't want to accidentally log myself off <laughs> of everything. <laughs> well, thank you so much though, Owen. That's, that's so cool. And oh, okay. So here I found, I found the thing. It's a, it's a. The drawing of the cult, and um, so here's the cult down here, and I'm gonna. It's just the, this is just a sketch. So I always before I do a mural, I always do it on canvas first. Um, it's gonna be a 30 foot wide mural, but um, so I'm just roughing it out on here. If if we get the the thumbs up for the mural, I'll actually do some larger paintings of each of the elements and stuff. But but I just want to get them all together. So it's just you know it's it's nutty. But he, but here's what the cult's supposed to look like. This is a painting I did of the cult. I think this that's is so cute. Oh, thank you. Looks better here than he does here, I bet. Where, where, where'd he go? Oh, there, there he is. Okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, so that's what he's supposed to look like. And just, just to give you an idea how, like, that black and white. Um, and that's not even all the colors that the cult's going to have. That was just a sketch. So, you know, all this is a lot of color. Right here is a little calf, and he's wearing cowboy boots. And I will make the, the cowboy boots bigger. I, I think you're right. Um, but that's another little Instagrammable social media moment for, for the kids because all the kids have phones. So at the children's hospital, if the kids want to, you know, take take a um, a selfie. So here here's here's a sketch of that um, cow that I did. So 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 whenever um, so that's the idea for the cow right here. So I just want to show you guys that. Um, then you, there's a barn back there. Huh? Are you? Are you? So you're not going to put the parent horses in it anymore? I don't know. I was thinking about it. I, I, I have I have parent horses that I, I do the sketch just like them. I might. I don't but know. I, I was going to do all this first because yeah. I might be a little busy. Yeah. And um, so we'll see. But anyway, that's that's the idea. Well, Owen bum, said bum, bum. thanks. Um, you're welcome. I thought it was very well done. Um, and they said sorry to be a pain about it. No worries, man. We honestly. Social media is a little bit of our nemesis, but we're, I, yes, I'm, I'll describe it to John after this for sure. And, and I've been, um, I just got back on Facebook, really. Like on my phone, I've been able to have it on my computer, but I've been, the app wasn't working on my phone for some reason for like a month or yeah. two or it's been, but now it's working again. I don't, I don't know if they updated it or what, but. Yeah. So my mom joins us, says, hey guys, love you. And then uh, Mike mm -hmm. asked, where are you going? So we are going, um on a cruise uh we're going through bah the bahamas uh st thomas san juan puerto rico and um haiti. labadee haiti so uh that should be fun miami. so and we're gonna hang out in miami too right? yeah i'm excited about it. it it's gonna be fun and it's um uh it's gonna be an adventure <laughs> yeah it's gonna it's gonna be so much fun that I, i'm looking forward to painting on the boat and, and everything. It's going to be so much fun. I'm looking so, forward to the drink package. Yeah. And there you go. Really. <laughs> but here, I, I want to show you guys really quick. So I, I'm going to, um, I'm going to be painting on, on the boat and on, on the shore everywhere I can. Um, so this, this is what I'm bringing. One of the things that's really important when you're traveling, you know, if you want to do art, um, paint is really heavy and, you know, and I, I travel 
in the past before COVID, I traveled a whole lot and I always bring paints with me and stuff. So this time I'm really trying to, to pare everything down um, to wait. But I, do, I don't I don't want to take away any of the art on it or any of the expression. So if you get an idea to do something, you can do it. So I want to do some thick painting. So I thought, you know, well, how in the world are you going to do really thick painting? But but um, you can have everything that I could kind of do in the studio, but have it in a really, really small kit. So so that, so that was the challenge. And this is how I decided to come up with this. We'll see if it works. Um, these these are canvas pads. You know, no, normally when I paint, I use stretch canvas. Um, these are really great. I've used them before. Um, you know, it's primed can canvas that's just like like sheets of paper. So that's really great. So, but that does mean that um, the paintings will have to be framed, like matted and framed, instead of stretched. But the great thing about that is that for weight and and also for the dur durability, because if you're on the go and you've got you know like um, I'm going to have a backpack that I throw my paints and everything in, you know, and if you're going to the beach or you're going somewhere and you're trying to paint live and you're trying to capture that energy, you know, you don't want the, 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 the canvases to get all messed up and rip, ripped or, or loosened up and everything. So those things are great because they're really easy to protect. Um, Barb says, uh, does Jack get to go? Yes, yeah, Jack yeah. is going. It's definitely a family affair. We're going with my brother and sister-in-law. So um, it's going to be a blast. And it's funny because he was like, <laughs> And I was like, Jack, you know, what do you, what do you want to do? You know, all these excursions, you know, swim with dolphins, who knows everything. And he's like, I just want to sit on the beach and relax as if he's, <laughs> as if his life is so hard. <laughs> I'm with him. That's a, whatever you want to do, buddy. I'm, I'm, I'm in. I mean, I'm in. I can appreciate it, but it, but it, the way he's every time he's like, does it involve relaxing? Okay. Hey, hey, <laughs> like, okay. It's, you know what? He turns 14 tomorrow. I know. And um, it's crazy. Tomorrow's his birthday. It's, it's, it's hard being a teenager. I remember I wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't want to go back. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to have that job. Uh, but he's yeah. a sweetheart. He's um. so it doesn't look like we're going to be able to take Eagle. If something comes through a miracle and we, you know, and then, but it's just crazy. So that's nutty. It's um, But Jack is such a sweetheart. And the, how many, how many teenage boys would be like this? But he's like, he's like, I got you, dad. I go, I'll take you where you want to go and blah, blah, blah. And the only thing too, is that one of the great things about Eagle is that it gives you independence. So I don't want, like Jack to feel like he has to do that, you know? So, and you know, it's brilliant that he does that and he wants that, but, uh, but it's good though. I mean, it's all, you know, you just find a happy medium with it all. Um, so I'll probably be using a cane and, um, and that'll be different, but you know, yeah. hey, and in just a minute, we're, well, I want to, I want to show you guys how I'm packing and then, and then, and then we're going to give away some art. Yeah. And, um, oh yeah. And so let me show so this, this, um, if y'all have ever seen, y'all probably seen these things a million times. It's just a canvas roll. You put, you put, um, your paint brushes in it this time though. Dun, dun, dun. It's also holding my paints. So what I'm about to do, it's probably about to go everywhere. So I don't know if you can see it down here, but I've got, okay. Let's see if I can get other, can, can you see it on the camera? Oh, me. <laughs> Uh, yeah, hold it up, hold it up. Yeah, so I've got I've got all these little rolls. Let me show you. So I got all these little little one ounce jars yeah. of paint. They're probably only about half full, you know, depending and or, or, or fully full. Um, so I've I've got every color, and then they're 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 all brown. So 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 it tells me what color in there, but it really cuts down on the weight. Plus in here I've got I've got like my my paint knives, my brushes. I got everything I need, but it's just in a little bundle that. That you can, it's nice and tight. It's tidy, and it doesn't weigh a whole lot. I mean, one one tube of paint, you know, depending on 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 you know on what what you have, can weigh four to eight ounces, and you know, eight ounces half a pound. It doesn't seem like a lot in the studio, but then you know, you pack, you know, you pack 10, 12 different colors, then you suddenly you got a lot of weight, you know, and then and you're packing your your canvases, and I'm, I'm dropping paint tubes. Um, yeah, yeah, you 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 pack quite a bit i understand that that it's crucial but it but i'm i you know i'm the one that's always have it that's like trying to pare down the packing <laughs> well it's only the art stuff it's like you know like it like it like it might stuff that i'm bringing for me yeah can usually fit like a you know but it's the art stuff and so i've been working really hard to pare down the art stuff because you know i mean it's easy to come up with you know like you know 20 pounds of of, of painting stuff because the paint itself you know and 
you know, and just paring it down to certain colors. And, and, but see, the idea is that I want the full functionality of the studio. So I want all the stuff. So like in one of the, the things I, I put this, 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 has, this um, is a heavy stru stru structure gel. Um, I can have the other mediums and other little bottles. I got all that, but each one is only going to be at most an ounce, maybe half an ounce. So with all the paints and all that stuff, um, you know, it's, it's, gosh, you know, it's maybe a pound or two pounds instead of That's it being, awesome. you know, way to go, babe. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, look, let me show you. Okay. So, so that really helps. So you got your brushes, you've got your, like your paint knives. Um, you've got all your paints. It's in one tight little bundle. It's easy peasy. Um, and uh, so sometimes paint tubes explode and stuff. And these little jars, they don't use, like when you're on a plane and it pressurizes. Um, I always double, triple, quadruple bag. Um, there's been a, quite a many time, quite a minute time <laughs> that I will get off the plane. You know, I'm in the hotel and open it, you know, and the hole inside the bag is like it's like it's like a little little paint bomb went off. Yeah, those are fun. This this is my palette. It's just an eight by ten um, ca um, ca canvas panel. And this, this has multiple layers of wax paper on it. So the nice thing about that is it's really rigid, but it's super, super thin. You know, it's just a canvas panel. Um, and it has multiple wax paper things on here because whenever you're painting and, and you're done for that session, you, you to clean it, you just take the wax paper off. You just, you just rip the top sheet off and then you've got a clean pa palette and you, you can go throw, throw that away. Um, so it's really easy to clean up. It's, it's not, you know, it's not messy at all. It's brilliant. And, um, and then, and then your palette's ready. So you can, you can literally pack up and be cleaned, cleaned up like from painting in like a minute, you know, I mean, it really doesn't take much time. And that's sort of the, one of the things, like if you're doing, um, on, on plein air sort of painting, you're out and about, you're, you know, you're, you're, you know, you're in a beach, let's say if you're, if you're in a kayak, um, you know, which I, I paint in a kayak and the wind gets up and, you know, you're, just, it gets crazy. Well, let me say, um, so Chrissy said, uh, <laughs> she, priorities drink package. Yes. Yes. <laughs> on the cruise. Believe me, it was the first thing we bought outside of the tickets. Um, uh, and then, uh, says tell Jack happy birthday. Oh, I will pass you. it on. Um, Barb says, uh, my boyfriend is watching for the first time and I'm trying to explain how you paint by texture. So, um, Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Let me, let me, let me, um, let me, I will definitely tell you that. Yeah, let me let me let me tell you that in just a minute, um, and, and I'll quickly go over. Oh, it. And let me say one other thing. Um, Barbara said, "Wait a minute, Jack just turned uh, thirteen last week. Oh my gosh, I'm getting old." And Babette said, "I missed it. How many paints can you get in that that roll up?" Oh, um, oh, in the roll up, um, I would pay, pick it up again, but now that I unrolled it, it's um, it's all loosey goosey, and I put the paints the everywhere. Paints are going to go over. But um, I, I want to say, let's see, how many I have there? I think ten. Yeah, they're little, like, what are they, two ounce? Little, it's a one ounce. Yeah, I got one the one ounce. One ounce little yeah. cylinders that you got off of Amazon. Yeah, and, yeah. And really, because yeah. I, I mean, like, let me show you. So, and I'm not even filling them up. Like, like this is a heavy st st structure gel. So, I probably put an ounce in this one. Um, and it's it's actually quite a bit. I mean, if you're working on the canvas panels, you know, um, an ounce of paint will, will go quite, quite a ways. I mean, especially if you're not painting thick. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have some thick painting and stuff. So I want to be able to go thick, which is why I'm bringing more. But, um, but you know, that, that'll, that'll be plenty of paint. Yeah. That's you know? And, and awesome. also for like the other thing you need is to be able to, to clean your brushes and to have water. One of the best things you can do is just a water bottle. And that is really great for smaller brushes. If you have the one inch wide brushes, sometimes they don't fit in there. Um, but, but these are great. It's like the little, little squeeze. Like you, you can get these from mustard and ketchup. Um, I use them for art, <laughs> but the neat thing about it is that, is that you can put water in here. So like you can bring it to, like you throw it in your backpack. Sometimes the backpacks have a little water thing on the side you can stick it in. Um, so you can bring fresh water with you and it's all sealed up. It's not going to go anywhere. But also if you want to use it as a brush cleaner, it has a wide mouth. So so the brushes go in there and you can just kind of swish, swish them around and you have all your dirty water in here. Then you can put your the lid on and you can take it back to where you you – you, you can get rid of it without like messing the environment up or, or, or so, soiling the ground or anything like that. Huh. So that makes it really nice. And then you, you can bring clear water, um, clean water in a little bottle or another one of these. Um, you can bring it in this little bottle. The nice thing about that is that this little bottle fits inside this other bottle. So if space is the problem, you know, you, they all just kind of go, go together. So that's brilliant. That, that's brilliant. It's like Russian nesting dolls. Um, 
you got like these little cups and stuff. So if you have the palette, that's great. But if you want it like a, a liquidy kind of paint, you can get these little 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 cups. Um, I have a bunch of them. They're really light. They stack. And um, they're, they're super, super easy to clean. The acrylic paint, once it dries, you pull it off of it. Then you've got a pretty clean cup. Not perfectly clean, but clean enough for artwork. And um, <laughs> um, and, that, and that's really nice. So then you got little bowls. And it's super easy. The main point, though, is that, you know, you, you can go on Amazon. You can go on this. You can buy these giant kits. And they're really cool. And they're really neat. They're also generally heavy. And it may not be the stuff that you want. But you don't really need a whole lot to be able to paint. You know, you need the surface. If you want an easel, I've got lots of easels. And i got a lot of big, heavy easels that I use every day. But I've got this um, aluminum table easel that I'm going to bring. The reason I'm bringing it is because it's not my favorite easel. Um, but it does its job really, really well. Like, it, it, it holds, it'll hold a certain sizes really well. And it's crazy light. It weighs like an ounce, maybe two ounces. But it's very strong. So even though it doesn't have much weight... You know, it, and it's super quick. That's the other thing. If you're if you're going out and about, I mean, it's set up. You know, that's broken down. You know, you know, you don't you don't want something that's just going to take a whole lot of time. Yeah. Because like you know, if if you're you know if you're traveling somewhere and you're you want to do a quick painting, quick sketch or something, it's nice to be able to be set up in a minute or two. And that's literally all this takes. It, you can throw it in a backpack. You know, the the, the little roll of stuff, some a few things. You got you got your clean water. Um, the, the only thing is that I'm, I'm doing the 16 by 20. Um, if I was really trying to be su super mobile, I would have gotten smaller ones. But but I want to do like a, a larger painting. And, and of course, if you're doing that, like you can take these and roll them up, put them in a tube. So that would be a thing. But I want to do some thick painting. So rolling them is not that great. But that's okay. I don't mind carrying it. Cool. So as long as it fits in the suitcase, we're good to go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that fits. Like an 18 by 24 inch will fit. And your basic 28 inch suitcase yeah. perfectly. Um, you know, it's nice. And um, oh, and that's another thing like our suitcases and stuff, we generally get like the reinforced or the hard out outer shell because most of the every time I, I travel, especially when I'm traveling for work, but when I travel anyway, I always bring paints with me. And it's nice to have it hard that way, something doesn't hit it and make it want to explode. So, um, and I'm, I, I want to do the, the game really quick. Okay. Because we're going to give away some art. And I want to do that, and I, and, and I appreciate your patience and everything. So, so I want to give away some arts. We're going to play some trivia. Um, but Barbara said that um, her friend was wondering how I paint. Yeah, yeah. If you want to give the elevator speech, yes. Yeah, yeah. So, so let me so let me say really quickly. Um, and um, it's basically the same way. That, like if you're a visually impaired person, the way that you paint is through your sense of touch. But that's kind of the way that you do everything. So, if you're a sighted person. Um, and you learn, or I'm sorry, let me, let me back it up. Let me back it up. <laughs> like you're trying to do it so fast. You're I know. Like I, know I'm trying to do fast. I, did, we, we, I was we, like, huh? We, we had a reporter here this morning and I, I did well on that. Oh, good. So, well, so that's I, all that matters. Yeah, so, so I was able to explain it really well once today. And of course, you know, tonight my brain is like, mm. but, um, but you know, if one of the most important things you learn whenever you lose your eyesight is, is how to get around, like how to get around a room, how to navigate a city. And you learn how to do that by using your senses in new ways. And one of the big ways is to learn how to use your sense of touch to do the work that your eyes used to do. And the training for that is called orientation and mobility training. And, and that's where the white cane comes in. And later, if you know, if you're lucky, I think, because I love guide dogs, if you, if you travel with a guide dog, it's, a, it's very much the same way. But all a white cane does in the handle for a guide dog is that it, it – it lets you put your touch out there a little bit. So the white cane lets you extend your touch so you can feel the sidewalk, you can feel everything around you. But the main thing is that you learn techniques to be able to take that and to build mental maps with it, to be able to to, to imagine, to, 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 to visualize the world around you by what you're feeling. So everything you touch, everything you feel is giving you information. So you can, um, so imagine if you're walking down the sidewalk and you have your cane, you can feel the edge of the sidewalk where the curb is. And as you're walking down, that's making a straight line going along the, the, the road. So you've got that road. And then if you come across a tree and you tap the tree, that's a great landmark. They don't move trees around on you. So now you've got that straight line of the curb. You've got the tree. You also have the texture of the sidewalk. It could be really rough. It could be smooth. So maybe you're on a rough patch of sidewalk. Then you hit the smooth part. You know, oh, I must be three quarters of the way there because that's where the smooth sidewalk is. Everything that you feel, everything that you touch is more information for you to put in your mental map and you just build up this very visual sort of map. 
And that's something that's surprising to people, I think, is that people who are, who are blind um, can imagine things and they, they, they can hold an image. But uh, but that's a whole nother conversation. But you very much can. The same part of your brain that does imagination and, and um, dreams and visualization is the same part that sighted people use to make the images when you're looking. But and I'll, and I'd love to talk about that some night, but I, I know I'm skipping the elevator speech, which is already a really long elevator. We ride, are so, on the 120th so I apologize. floor. I apologize. It's a lot to take <laughs> in. I, I know, but, um, and it, but basically when I paint though, it's the same way that you use a, a cane or, or a guide dog. So you're using those exact same techniques. And if you think about it, you know, if a person who's a visual impairment can cross across, go across a city, if you can cross streets with traffic going around, if you go through crowds of people and you don't knock over too many people, you're not getting hit by cards and you can navigate by yourself. You can cross this entire city. Then you're using those same techniques to navigate across a canvas. So, you know, you, and you never get hit by a car. You never knock over anybody, usually, unless you're a terrible painter. You know, so it's a lot easier on a canvas than it is. Um, so that's how you start. And then, of course, like anything else, you sort of keep adding to it and adding to it. But um, it's something that we've taught in like seven different states to the blind, blind services. We've, we've taught um, students in other countries. And the wonderful thing about all this is that it's really simple techniques. We teach children who are blind and, and, and it's, it's nothing that's very complex. It's nothing that's too hard. It's nothing that's extra special about it. It's just techniques and it's just using a stick, a cane, you know, so those sort of techniques and it's just applying it in a new way. But the wonderful thing is that these kids that learn how to do this, their ability to get around, explodes because every time they're painting, every time they're working on their art, every time they're working with clay or paints or any sort of thing like that, they're using these techniques. They're also practicing their cane skills. So every time that they're, they're, they're thinking about art and they're working with art, the better their, their everyday life gets, you know, it's like, you know, it's like trying to remember not to hit this mic, not to hit this camera <laughs> in this vague area, you know, there's more stuff you can keep. So like, you know, you got your glass on your plate, your plate, you know, it, it all it all adds up. So I know that was a very long elevator speech. I apologize for anyone that's heard a lot. We're in space. I really appreciate the questions though, <laughs> because that's that's important. Though. It's it's important that people to know that you know what I do isn't very special. I mean anybody that makes art, I think it's I think making art is special. But the fact that a non visual visual artist can make art, art anybody can make art. And if you're blind, there's special techniques that you can learn to make art. So. You know, um, so the way that I do art is, is different, but, you know, it's just, uh, you know, but it, I've never met a sighted painter really that paints the same as another sighted painter. Everybody finds their own way. Everybody has their own um, style. Everybody has their, 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 even, even with blind painters, I'll teach people how to do this and then they'll find their own way. They'll use some of this and they'll find their own thing. But I want to give away some art. Well, um, I hope me, that was clear. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, Carla, Carla has joined us. Says hey, hi. Um, Fred says, Hey guys, I joined late, but, um, just in time, I guess. Yay. And, uh, he, he said, I want to try the blindfolded painting. That would be fun. Yeah, and, man. I would love to do that. And Barb said, thanks. So, um, about just explaining all of that. Yeah. Sorry. Um, sorry, Barb. Please, 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 please apologize to your friend for, for me, for me talk, talking their ear off. No, no. I mean, it's, it's a, it's a good, it's a good question. Yeah. It's a, yeah, it's it a great time. question. And it's a really good question to ask. I mean, you know, it just shows interest. And um, um, so art yeah. giveaway. Okay. Do you, do you, okay, is everybody ready? So do you, <laughs> do you want to explain how this, how this, how this goes? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to ask, uh, we're going to throw it up on the screen. We'll have some trivia questions. If you think you know it, put the letter in the, the comments, the, the, ch the choice you think is correct in the comments. If, if you got it correct, I will write your name down, put it in a hat. And John will pull it out of the hat. Last week, Tracy won. <laughs> and her print went out um, a few days ago. So she'll probably get it any minute now. Um, so maybe tonight is your lucky night. I would say guess. Why not just guess? Even if you don't know it, why not just throw a letter out there? Yeah. To be honest with you, I don't know the question. So I, I'm if, if I know it, cool, I'm going to write your name down. If I don't, I'm going to have to backtrack. So everybody have to give me a second. Yeah, yeah, so. and, and, and we're going to try to go through the questions a little quicker so that it's more fun and we get through it. But also because um, J J Jackie has to take time to look up the, the answer and see who got it right. 
So it'll be a little time between. So so we'll we'll just try to get, make it make it a little bit quicker tonight. And if it gets too chaotic, I'll just put everybody's name in it. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, and for <laughs> every right answer, much. you get your name in the in the hat. So so if you you know, and we've had people get one right answer and their names in the hat one time and they've won. So yeah. Oh, Barbara says, um, I'm with Fred. I was kind of wishing you would put a workshop together for us. Oh, that, that'd, that'd be, be that's bright. a really good idea. That'd be kind of fun with that, like the regulars on the live show. That would be yeah. Fun. Yeah, we, we have totally done a, do we have done a live show where I did the blindfold workshop, and that that actually is kind of popular on the on the channel. A lot of people have watched mm -hmm. that, but um, maybe because it's comical to watch me paint blindfolded. But um, <laughs> that would be fun. That's a good idea, Barbara. We should do that for sure. Yeah. Okay. I'm down. All right. So let me get this set up. Oh, I can't wait. I don't know. Oh, are we doing general trivia? Is that what you want to do? I don't know. Yeah, I guess we what probably should do general if I'm. <laughs> guessing the correct answers okay really why, why is that well because if it's like history or something crazy i may totally get it wrong oh no but they tell you what it is after i know right? but i'm trying if i the more i know oh, the easier so, it is so so you think you're really really good at okay. general and you're gonna know all the answers but history you might well i i don't know i mean <laughs> I, we can, I'm with okay, you too. you know I what think, there is be there is entertainment general. you'd think, be really good at dictionary Oh gosh, I don't know. Um, Jack would be good at geography. We all have our strengths. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm really that good at any of them. Okay. Let's do general. Okay. All right, first Sounds question. Good. And we're going to go kind of fast, guys. Okay. A I'm little ready. bit. Which is the correct spelling of the word that means charge with crime? Okay, this is tricky because I don't want to spell all these for you. Oh. <laughs> um, well, okay, I will. Okay, indict. I N D I T E B I N D Y T E or C I N D I T C or D I N D I C T. Oh, okay. You'd be good at this. You're I'm going to say D. Um, but you're, you know, I, I, I have to brag on you. Jack, Jack, Jackie's so sweet. Um, <laughs> we, we try not to watch films that have a lot of subtitles because, you know, who wants to read an entire script yeah. to someone? <laughs> and, um, but she's so sweet. If, if, if they sneak them in there, she's always like, you know, eh, just reading them through. I mean, you know, that's, the only that's time what this that, kind of reminds me of is you like the indict. The only time that, I, oh, you know what? Joe, I just saw Joe give an answer. Joe's mm -hmm. watching. Joe is. Yeah. Which means that we should just go with whatever he says. Yeah. I'm he thinking, hey, Joe. That's the right answer to every one of them. Thank okay. you so much. Well, I must say it's good to see you, but um, it's good to have it's good to have you. It's been a while. I think. I think you, you know the only time that um, the the um, uh, subtitles become an issue is like when we we're we sat down for dinner and then all of a sudden we put on a movie and it's like it's like <laughs> oh okay um, in between bites hold on yeah that's so. nutty. all right well it looks like the consensus says D okay let's go with it boom boom boom. Very good, guys. Yes. All right. The capital city of which of these countries comes last alphabetical? Oh. Thailand. What, what is it with all the spelling stuff on I this? Know, this is, okay. Thailand, Greece, China, or Iraq? Oh. Well, I mean, I guess. What, a, B, C, D, E, F, G. <laughs> I mean, Tha Tha Thailand? I mean, because it's. Is, am I missing something? That seems easy. The, well, it's the capital city of which of these countries comes last oh, alphabetically. Oh, the country. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this is hard. I don't know oh, this wait one. a minute. Oh, 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 okay. I got, gosh, it took me long enough. Um, wow. I just now understood the question. That's how bad this is. <laughs> <laughs> it's taking me this long just to understand. <laughs> um, okay, okay. So, no, it's not that. It's not that. Um. Oh, <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know the ca the capital city of. What is what is C and D again? Okay, um, C is China and D is Iraq. Iraq. I mean, I would guess Thailand. Well, I want to say China. Okay. I mean, we got a lot of people are like. Eh all over the place a little bit yeah that's a, well that's a good one i guess because okay so you you're gonna say china uh, yeah let's go with it 
oh my gosh, you're you're like that kid that didn't have to study. Well, no, well, no, I knew that you know, Bangkok's with a B, and and you know all that, and then I, I couldn't think of the the I couldn't think of the China, and then I just heard it because they're in the news all the time, and and I couldn't think of it, but I thought, well, it's not those. Well, surely it's further down. Okay, well, some people got that right. Way to go, guys. Okay. I was get I I thought it was uh, Thailand. Okay. Which country's capital city does not begin with the letter C? Oh my God. Uh, which country's capital? Are we doing? We're doing general, right? Not yeah, like, I oh, think okay, so. Okay. I think that's what I chose. I hope so. Can which we, which can country's we, capital city does not begin with the letter C? Australia, Venezuela, Wales, Greece. Okay. 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 Hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean. I don't know the capital cities. Of, well, in Australia, the, I want to say Sydney, I mean, but is that just the biggest city and it's not the capital? I don't know. I, did, I, I, I had other things going on that day in class. Where's Jack? He's, he's obsessed Yeah, really. With he's really good at this. <laughs> I mean, okay. It's just, you know, it makes you feel really Greece. dumb when you don't know stuff. I need to get more smart up in here. <laughs> the majority of people are saying Greece. Ooh. Okay. Do you want to go with that? I guess, but in that, I guess, I mean, I'm thinking of a, a city in Greece that starts with a Z, and, okay, well, mm, yeah. I'm thinking, okay, yeah, well, you know what, I'm kind of thinking about That's right. right. It was Greece. Way to go, guys. I knew it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know the answer, but at least, at least, at least we do to listen to you guys, guys. Goodness. Okay. Way to go. Okay, so next question. In which U.S. TV series did Carrie have a boyfriend named Ale Alexander Petrovsky? Oh, my goodness. Carrie. Oh. Oh. Uh, A-E-R. Okay. B, Sex in the City. C, Two and a Half Men. Or D, Friends. All right. Unless it was a bit player, it wasn't Friends. I, I, I haven't seen Sex in the City. You have. Isn't well, Carrie in one of the people on Sex in the City? Uh, yeah. That sounds familiar. ER. That's Zach Braff, isn't it? No, that, that was Scrubs. Oh, Scrubs. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good grief. Good grief. The more I talk to the... Uh, <laughs> um, the more okay. my ignorance becomes obvious. All right. Do you want to guess? I'll, I'll say Sex in the City because I, I just kind of remember it being a Carrie. What do you think? I think it's that, too. What What is... um? What, what other people think? I think Sex in the City seems to be the, the one that's... Okay. okay, we got it. That's Sex in the City. Okay. Right. Which four film starred Richard Burton? Oh, okay. Holy moly. Let me think, let me think. Richard Burton, Richard Burton. Okay, you got 1984, Four Weddings and a Funeral, The Four Musketeers, or Fantastic Four? Oh. Oh, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Are you figuring out the question still? Yeah, yeah. I was thinking that it was four of the answers. And I, I was thinking, like, so one of those doesn't have Richard Burton, but it's one of them does. And I thought, I don't remember him in a lot of this. <laughs> um, gosh, you know, because he could have been in Four Weddings and the Funeral. He just kind of been there, you know, like Father of the Bride or this yeah. or that. And, and you, you know, and you, you, it's so long that they don't realize it. 1984. I don't remember him being in that, but that was a long time ago. Isn't he old? Uh huh. He's older. Okay. He is now. I mean, old. But he was less old though. In the, you know, when nineteen eighty four came out. Yeah, yeah, and 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 all you know, four weddings and a funeral. Wasn't that in the nineties? Yeah. Yeah. So. I'm I'm gonna guess nineteen eighty four. Gosh, almost wonder about the Musketeer one. Well, I mean, they made a few of those, so I don't know. Didn't yeah. They? The four musketeers. That's weird. It's usually the three musketeers. What are what are what are what are it's all it's all over the place. I think this we is just another choose. hard one. Um I'm I'm just personally I'm gonna go with the four musketeers, but you're okay. probably no, right. Let's do it. Let's do it. I think I think you're right though. Yeah, it's nineteen eighty four. Oh, way to go. Which part did you play, do you think? What? I have no idea. I guess one of the overlords, maybe yeah, one I mean, of the, the big brother guys. Yeah. Gosh. Um, a hot hatch is an informal or slang term for what? No, no it sounds dirty. A three door car, <laughs> an incubator, an escape hatch, or a punk hairstyle? <laughs> I 
<laughs> Bug hairstyle the hot hatch. That is like a good that is like a good name for a punk band though. Los Angeles the Hot Hatches. Hmm. I don't know. I'm thinking it an, an incubator. Oh, okay. Well yeah, everybody's all over the place a little bit. We got um, a three door car and an incubator. Um which one do you want to choose? What did you what did you pick? I think I think an incubator. All because right. you have a hatchy a hatchery sort of thing. All right. No. Well poop. three door door car? Sure. Yep. That's wow. What it was. Way to go, That's crowd. Called a hot hatch. Who had that? Um uh, quite a few people. Wow, way to go, few. guys. Um, let me write their names down really fast because I wasn't hundred percent sure. Um Okay, this one is uh a dangerous situation is said to be and and waiting to happen. A American B accident C Alibab Alibi sorry the screen's really small or D activity. Hold it. Alibi, is, I bet. Alibi, sorry. Yeah. I'm reading it off a tiny part on the screen. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like uh, oh. all <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> all, all, I can't say it at all. Ollie Bobby, like, uh, all the, well, I can't say, but in the 40th days, <laughs> gosh, um, um, an accident. You think it's accident, huh? Yeah. Okay, let me. I got to make up some lost ground. I've been missing. I know, the crowd, the crowd is uh, agreeing with you. All right, lot, lots of names and hats. Yeah, I, I'm like, I mean, that was kind of an easy one, guys, so way to go. <laughs> got a million names. Don't take this win away from me. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> All right. My handwriting is atrocious. Um, okay. Let's see. That's right. Yay. Yay. Okay. What is a group of owls called? A, party. B, hoot. C, parliament. Or D, mm. cabinet. Ooh, that's a good I question. think just like George Clinton and his Funkadelic, mm -hmm. it's a parliament. Really? I think. Well, um, but we I got don't a know couple for sure. Of, we got a couple of uh, cabinets, a parliament. Yeah, we got some. Cabinet would be good, too. Hmm. So you want to guess parliament, huh? I do. And what a, what a great name, if that's true. What a great name. I mean, like, if you're crows, it's like a murder of crows. It's like, mm -hmm. geez. That's, and that's they get that name from murdering, ca from murdering owls. Do they? Yeah. Oh, is that where it came from? Yeah, they hate each other. Oh, you smarty pants. That's a thing. Okay. Wow, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know there was like a vendetta going on. Oh yeah. I just thought like a, mur a mur murder of crows. That's that's really <laughs> judgy. All right. Let's see if Parliament is the answer. Very good. Hey, George okay. Clinton. All right, let me get caught up here for a second. Okay. I didn't know that owls and crows had such animosity. Yep. That's yeah, crazy. I talked about it like two shows ago. Um, that's that's okay. interesting, though. Like, uh, yeah. Here we go. Which people first named in La... In La Hold on, i got to go to the other screen. Sorry. Which people first named... Is it named, up on the big screen? Can you see it up there easier? Yeah, but I'm, I'm, try, I'm reading a bunch of different things at the same time. Oh. Oh. Um, and lobbed incendiary devices called Molotov cocktails. <coughs> A, Russian. B, Finnish. C, Afghani or D Polish. Okay, 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 okay. Let's let's break it down. Let's get real let's here. Let's break it down. Because clearly we're all gonna think it's Russian. Yeah, so it's probably and something I, different. And I think it's Russian, but are they trying to trick us? Probably. You know, is it really like 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 you know, E and it was hidden the whole time and nobody knew it? Or I don't the know. Finish, do the finish, the sneaky finish. I, 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 I'm gonna say Russian. I don't, I don't think they're trying to be sneaky, but really? Well, the crowd seem we got a we got a few uh, bees. Oh, what is B? Finish. Oh, that was my. That was, oh gosh, I hope that's I did. That's 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 the one that seemed the least the least like like likely to me because they seem so nice. Yeah, and and, well, and Jackson <laughs> was talking about I want to go to Finland. I want to go to Finland. It's so nice. Well, and, Norway. Norway. Norway yeah, is his thing, but yes. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Gosh, I don't know, but I'm, I'm going to stick with Russian because, you know. Well. The Molotov cocktail. Okay. I'm going to choose it. Okay. No. Really? Okay. 
Is it, it finished? Is finished? Oh, that'd be awesome if it's finished. Way to go, people. Wow, that's awesome. I just learned something. Yep, yep, yep. And Barb was like B multiple times. Like I was like she cl- knows it. Clearly knew it. <laughs> Man, my, my 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 IQ just went up a point. Okay. Which means I at least got a one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let me write these, day, these down really fast. Um Wow, that's awesome. Way to go, crowd. I have no idea. Um Okay. The next question. Which silver screen actress was nicknamed the girl with the million dollar legs? Oh no. Oh boy. A Hedy Lamar. B, Jean Harlow, huh? C, Betty Grable, or D, Greta Garbo? Oh, my goodness. Gosh. <laughs> Barbara, Barbara C, like, over and over again. Betty Grable? Is that, yeah. is that, is that what C was? Yep. And um, A was Hedy Lamar. Um, B was um, Betty. No, Betty Grable was C. <laughs> what, are, what are they again? I'm sorry. Hedy Lamar. Jean Harlow, Betty Grable, or Greta Garbo? Greta Garbo. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Uh, you know what? Bed in the... Barbara said C. I mean, every a lot of people are saying C. Yeah. Okay. Million dollar legs. That sounds good. All right. Very good crowd. Wow. All right. I gotta write a bunch of names down. Hold on. <laughs> All right, guys. Wow. That 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 is awesome. Man. Yeah. I wasn't sure. I was thinking her or. I knew it wasn't Hedy Lamar, but but I was saying Grable. I don't know. I, I was just listening to a really interesting doc, documentary about about some of that. It was it was a really cool. I didn't finish it yet though, so <laughs> it's like ah. Oh. You got a lot of writing to do over there. I know people. You're too smart. Okay. Well, this is it's gonna be great. So, oh, no, so, no. so 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 Jackie's getting all the names right now for every right answer. And then we'll, we'll 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 pull a name, and somebody will get any medium print you want of your choosing, um, and we'll try to get it out before um, we leave. If we can't, like if okay. it has to be, if we have it here in the studio, then we can send it out really quick. If we have to have it made, yeah, um, um, it may it may be oh. a, a little bit. What? We I guess that was the end of the quiz. Oh yeah, I think so, wasn't it? Oh yeah, I wasn't keeping track. Oh, um, oh, hold it. Let me Carla it said her legs were insured for a million dollars. Let me put it back up. Is it? Yeah, we got a 90. Way to go, oh, guys. Oh, the way you said, oh, I got a lot of things right down. I thought it was it. And I thought, yeah. It no, like I hadn't 10. switched over to, to back to the thing. Oh, cool. It, it felt um, like 10 to me. So. <laughs> Fred said, I was so distracted trying to drive home and do trivia. Would not recommend this. <laughs> you sh- yes, don't. I would not recommend that either. Okay. So, way to go, crowd. That was really good. Mm. That's my favorite part. Wow. You're gonna pick a name. So guys, um, so so we'll try to get this if we have it here in the studio. We'll we'll get out really soon before we leave. If not, um, it'll it'll be it won't be next week, but it'll be the week after that that we'll be able to send it. Yes, um, we'll, we'll have to have it made at the print shop. And I, I I should be able to get it done. You think? Yeah. You're you're a go getter. Hey, I I don't want that on my to do list before I leave. Boop, boop. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ooh, got some smarties. Look at all these. Turn in, turn in. Turn in. <laughs> I know. It's just, I'm, I'm really mixing them up. I want to get like. Yeah. This makes me think of that Frasier. Toss salad in your scrambled eggs. I'm just getting it. Okay, okay, I got one. Barbara. Barbara. There you, there I'm sorry. You <laughs> Barbara. <laughs> Move the camera. <laughs> Barbara, did, did yeah. it show up? Okay. Yeah. Congratulations. Jackie, can you please tell Barbara what she's won? Well, she has won a medium print of your choice. Um, you know the drill. Uh, message me with, um, you know, which medium print, which image you want in a medium print. And I will uh, send that to you. But do me a favor and send your address again because I know I've... I don't have it. And I know I've sent stuff to you before, but remind me what it is. Um, but let us know. And I will try my best to get it out by Saturday when we leave. I'm almost positive I should be able to. So congrats, Barbara. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Barbara. I'm so glad you won. And and thanks so much, everybody, for playing. And um, and, I, and I know that we're not going to be here next week. Um, 
but I, I'm, I'm going to be painting. I, 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 I'm, I'm going to try to share some of that stuff. I'm just, I just want to, when I'm on the boat, I don't know if I'll be able to, but, um, but I'll definitely share it after, but I'm just looking forward to that so much. Just getting there and being able to, I don't know, to, to walk around in new, new, new spaces and meet, and meet new, new, new people. And, and I, I, I don't know. It's just, I've been looking forward to this for so long. It'd be so great to get some sand in my paint. Have you, <laughs> I thought you were going to say, get some sand in my pants. Well, that's, you know, that's, that's what you say in my pants. You know, that's, that's one of the things though that, well, not that, but. It was like, there will be sand in my pants. She'll be sand Jackie, everywhere. Yeah. Jackie had a really good idea, I thought, about maybe taking some of the beach sand and actually mixing it in with the paint. Yeah. Be um, true to the experience. Yeah. Because I wanted to, like, I'm going to be doing these paintings. And I want to pick up some stuff from where, wherever we are that kind of helps us that, that inspired the painting, you know? So, so, so we're there on the islands. I want to look for some stuff, but the idea of actually incorporating some of the sand into it, that's a really cool idea. So, so I might. It's the only might, kind I have. Yeah. There you go. Um, <laughs> well, okay. So, uh, Oh, Barbara is already like the elephant and the parrot is the one that she's Ooh. really digging. So it's my latest favorite as well. Oh, well. oh, and I should say happy international women's day. Oh yes. Yes recognize all the ladies yeah um and uh mike said have fun on your trip and uh stay safe thank you and, mike um karen said jackie is awesome i'm just gonna you pause, are awesome. pause for a moment for that one <laughs> <laughs> linda says that have a great trip um and karen said thanks for another great show so thank thanks you so, linda thanks karen yeah thanks so much for tuning in guys it's a lot of fun we always look forward to tuesdays it's a break from the norm um, so with that said, we won't be here next Tuesday doing the live show, but, but, you know, follow on Instagram socials and all that stuff. Cause we are going to like document what we're doing and, uh, just tune in the following Tuesday. We'll be, we'll be doing it again. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, take care guys. And thanks so much. And as, you know, if you've ever seen us do this, you know, I'll be back in about like, and seconds. subscribe. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>